good morning welcome to day seven of vlogmas it's tuesday morning and i've just got back from the school run it's quite a gray overcast day out there but i thought i'd pop on and share with you what i'm wearing what the elf's been up to and my plans for today so first of all what the elf has been up to so if you saw my vlogmas day six you'll know that my son and my husband and i have started work on a christmas jigsaw puzzle i'm really enjoying working on that well, the naughty elf in the night got the jigsaw puzzle, got all of the pieces in the box out and put them on the floor and made a little snow angel shape in them. Um, so I'll put up a picture so you can see the mess he made. And my children were tickled with it. Elf also had a little piece of puzzle in each hand, one that had a dog on, one that had a cat on. And my daughter has been picking out the dogs and cats in the picture. So she was quite tickled to see the elf was holding those pieces. So um, luckily he didn't actually mess with the jigsaw puzzle piece we put together already. Um, so it wasn't too bad to tidy up, um, but that's what the elf's been up to. And now I'll share with you what I'm wearing today. And what I'm wearing today is one of my favourite um, sweater dresses for winter. And actually, I'd almost forgotten I had this um, dress in my wardrobe. And when I was going through my sort of winter jumpers, and I found this in um, packed up in my winter jumper sort of pile. So I was really pleased to rediscover it. And um, it's made using this pattern here. Oh, it's come from this book here at least. This is a um, e ebook by Sew Over It, and it is their City Break Capsule Wardrobe ebook. So Sew Over It have done a few um, ebooks with a few different patterns included, and you can download them and then just print the patterns out you want. Um, and I've only got this one ebook, although I have eyed up a couple of the other ones. This is one of the old ones, and it's got a few different patterns in. It's got a coat, it's got some jeans, and a skirt. But my favourite pattern from this book is the Molly Top and Dress, and I'll show you the line drawings. So it's designed to be made in jersey fabrics. It's a top and dress pattern with um, a drop shoulder, a fairly wide neckline, and a fairly sort of straight relaxed fit. Um, and I've made the top and the dress version, and I like them both a lot. It works well in a lighter weight jersey for the top, like a viscose jersey or a cotton jersey, and the dress works well um, in a French terry, which is why I've made this one in, which makes it a bit more substantial and cosy. It doesn't have the best size range ever. It goes from a size eight to a size 20, and the largest size is bust 45, waist 38, hips 48 and I make this size 8 which is bust 33 waist 26 hips 36 so that's my bust sorry my waist and hips measurement and I'm a 32 inch bust but I find is absolutely fine and actually I like a bit more room in this dress because I've got it with the um with the t-shirt underneath to keep me extra cozy and I made mine yes in this French terry fabric I think it's really pretty I like the kind of combination of this sort of this blue colour and the pink flowers and um, I got this fabric from Lily and Mimi Fabric Shop. It's another one of my purchases from there. I really love their jersey, cotton jersey and French cherry range. But I'll put up a picture of me wearing it so you can see what it looks like. I really like the drop shoulders. I think it gives the dress quite a casual look. It's super comfy to wear. I've got it on here with a thick pair of tights and it's keeping me nice and warm today. So that's what I'm wearing. So in terms of my plans this morning, I had made some plans, but I've had to change them slightly because last night when my son was going to bed, we realised one of his teddies was missing. It's actually his favourite teddy and he was quite upset when he couldn't find this teddy and we searched all over the house and couldn't find him anywhere. So we had to think about where he last had the teddy and we think the last place he had the teddy was at church on Sunday. We remember him taking the teddy to church but we don't remember the teddy definitely came back. So I'm going to pop up to church in a little bit to go and hope to find the teddy there, fingers crossed. Um, I think the church opens at 10 o'clock so when it gets towards 10 o'clock, I'm going to head up there. And what I'll do is I'll try and take you on a bit more of the route and show you a bit more of the journey towards church. But yeah, I really hope we can find the teddy there um, so I can take it along. I did say if I can find him, I'll bring him along to school when I collect him after school. So I really hope he's there. Um, so that's what I'm going to do when it gets towards 10. But in the meantime, I'm going to go and wrap up a secret Santa present. So I mentioned yesterday in my vlog six that I'm combining days seven and eight in this video because tonight I'm going around a friend's house, one of the mums at school. There's a group of us getting together for a little sort of Christmas. Um, we're having some pizza, have a chat and that sort of thing. And we are doing a secret centre. We did one last year and it was quite a lot of fun. So we're doing another one this year. So we've each been allocated someone in the group to buy a present for. We don't know who's got who. And we I've got a budget of about £10 each to spend on that person. So I thought I'd show you what I've got. So I've got two items for my secret centre. And um, I know um, she really likes the creature's sloths. So I got her this, which is a grower sloth. You put the little sloth in water and it gets a lot bigger. So I thought that would be a bit of fun and something that she could do with her daughters or just enjoy on her own. <laughs> and then I also got her, because I know she likes reading a lot, I got her personalised bookmark, which says, do not disturb, Sam is reading. And it's got a nice 
lilac tassel on the back. So I'm hoping she'll like those. I don't think any of those mums watch my vlogs on a regular basis, so hopefully they won't see what I've got, or oh, I've got it for, and spoil surprise. But I'm going to um, wrap those up and um, put a little anonymous note on to Sam, and that'll be nice later. So as well as doing that, um, I've got plans to hopefully start sewing a little bit this morning. That might be after I've got back from church, probably. I've got a new project that I'm planning to start. Um, it's a bit of a palette cleanser after doing my toile for my um, Hovia coat, which I talked about yesterday. Oh, and on the subject of the Hovia jacket, I wanted to say thank you to everyone who commented on my yesterday's vlog, my day six of Vlogmas vlog, um, about the length of the jacket and giving their opinions on how much I should lengthen it by. I really appreciate all your opinions and I think I've made a decision. I think I'm going to go for the lengthening it by the full one and a half inches because that seemed to be what the majority thought would be best to make sure it's cosy and works with jeans as well as dresses. So I really appreciate everyone um, who shared their thoughts on that one. So thank you. So I think I'll pop off now and get a few jobs done, wrap up that secret Santa, and then I'll take you on the walk up to church and I'll pop on again a bit later to share with you my next sewing project. So I'll see you in a little bit. Bye. <laughs> I've just been into the church to have a look and he was there, yay! So I'm very pleased and my son is gonna be very pleased after school today. So I'm gonna head back home now and I'll see you back at home in a bit. Bye. Hello, it's now early afternoon and I had quite a busy morning in the end, getting a few jobs done. And most importantly, I got the teddy bear from the church. I was so pleased he was there. My son's gonna be really happy after school today, so that's really good. And I'm also glad that I went on that walk up to church this morning because it's now really rainy outside, so it wouldn't be very fun weather for a walk. So I've had my lunch now also, and I've got a bit of time to do a bit of sewing, which is lovely. So I'm going to get started on my latest project. As I mentioned, I quite fancied a palette cleanser project after working on my Hovia jacket toile. So I decided to cut into some fabric that I've had for a couple of months and I'd sort of been umming and ahhing over what to make with it. And it's this really lovely fleece back sweatshirt fabric from Atelier Brunette. So I've got, there's two colourways of this fabric and I've got the black version, or I think it might be a very, very dark navy, but I've got this lovely version here. There's also a creamy colour, which is lovely too. Um, and I've got the matching ribbing as well. I got those both from Minerva and I got enough to make a sweatshirt of some sort. And I wasn't sure which sweatshirt to make, my favourite sweatshirt pattern is the Jarra by Megan Nielsen. I wasn't sure if it would be silly to have another one of those and maybe I should try something different. But I finally thought, no, I'm going to make the Jarrah sweatshirts because I love it um, and I really enjoy wearing my other versions and I really want to make something in this beautiful fabric that I know I'll enjoy wearing a lot. So that is my plan today. I'm going to cut out the fabric and using this pattern here, the Jarrah sweatshirt by Megan Nielsen. It's my favourite sweatshirt pattern. I'll show you the line drawings. There are lots of different variations on it, which is really nice. Um, and I'm going to make this version here. I think the really plain version with a crew neck, drop shoulders and cuffs and a bottom band. But you can also make a version with these sort of split sleeve cuff things. And you can make one with a dipped hem um, in, with a longer bit at the back. You can make a tie front version, which I've made a couple of times, which is really nice too. And you can also make a funnel deck version, which is really lovely and cosy. So there's loads of different options in this pattern. But yeah, I'm planning on making a simple one here. In terms of sizing, uh, Megan Nielsen has a really inclusive size range on all her patterns. So this pattern, I have the paper pattern goes from size 0 to 20. But there's also a 14 to 30 um, pattern, which is in her curve range. And it's a really nice sweatshirt. It comes together really quickly. It's really um, relaxed to wear. It's a little bit oversized and a little bit cropped. And I often lengthen mine so it's not cropped. But I'm quite tempted on this version to make it slightly more cropped. I think what I'm going to do is cut it out a little bit longer and then try it on without the bottom band on and see if I maybe want to just um, take a little bit off the bottom and make it a bit more cropped um, once I've got it on and had a try on with some jeans. So I think that's my plan, but I won't probably get as far as that today. I'm pretty much going to just cut it out. Um, and then a bit later, I've got to go and get my children from school and my daughter has swimming after school on Tuesdays. It's always a bit of a mad dash to get her out of school and to the swimming pool in time. So it's always a bit of a hectic afternoon on Tuesdays. So what I'll plan to do is I'll um, pop off here in a moment 
and I'll pop on again when I have um, got ready for going out and I'm just about to go out this evening and I'll just say a final sort of goodbye for the day then. So wish me luck with the cutting out and I will see you in a little bit. Bye! <laughs> Hello, I thought I'd pop on now. I'm in the car, as you can see. I am outside my son and daughter's school and I'm about to go and get them in a moment. But I was a little bit early, so I thought I'd pop on and say hello to you guys. And also I'm a little bit reluctant to get out the car because it's very, very rainy out there. So it's not a very appealing weather to get out the car and go and get the children. I think we're all going to get a little bit wet. But yeah, I thought I'd pop on. Oh, and I've got um, Teddy in the back, so my son will be pleased to see him. But I thought I'd pop on and tell you I managed to cut out my Jarrah sweatshirt. So that's really good. So I'm not sure when I'll get to sew it, maybe tomorrow or maybe later in the week. But um, that is, I'm really pleased to have cut that one out. So it's um, in progress. But I better go now and get the children. So I'll see you again a little bit later. Bye. Hello. I'm just about to go out now. Um, I've got changed, as you can see. I'm now wearing a pair of jeans and a um, Christmas jumper. It's a ready to wear jumper from a few years ago, but I like the um, sort of sparkly noses of the reindeer on it. I've got them all over. And I've also got some Christmassy earrings on. If you can see, I've got little snowflakes in my ears. So hopefully it should be a good evening. I've got my Secret Santa presents wrapped up. Um, and so hopefully tomorrow I'll be able to share with you what I get as my Secret Santa presents. That'll be nice. So I'm planning to walk across to my friend's house. The rain has eased off now, so hopefully I won't get too soaked on the way. And hopefully it'll be a really nice evening. So I will leave you now. Say night night and I'll see you again tomorrow. Bye. <laughs> Good morning, it is day eight of Vlogmas. It's Wednesday morning and I've just got back from the school run and I thought I'd pop on and um, say hi to you guys and share what I'm wearing, what the cheeky elf was up to last night and what my plans are for today. I had a really lovely evening last night with my friends. There were six of us there. It was a really lovely evening. We had pizza, we had lots of chatting, we listened to some Christmas music and we did our secret Santa so I can show you what I got. I got this party game called Santa Banter and it's a rhyming party game and my husband and I love playing games particularly over Christmas with our family and we haven't got any Christmassy games so this will be a great addition to our games cupboard so I'm looking forward to giving this one a go and I also got a couple of other gifts from the host of the evening which is really lovely of her and she didn't need to do it but it was very nice I got some very cute reindeer socks so they're nice and Christmas I haven't got a lot of Christmas socks so it's nice to have a pair of Christmas socks I got a very jingly pencil which will be a bit of fun I think my children will enjoy writing with that one I got a moisturizing hand mask with an eight ranger on the front it's nice and seasonal so that'll be lovely I've never done a hand mask before so I'll have to give that a try and a very cute little lip balm and I feel like I'm applying lip balm all the time at the moment so this will be very handy it's black black blackberry flavor I think so it smells really nice it's red so yeah it was a really lovely evening I bounced back a little bit late um so I'll probably have a bit of an early night tonight but um, someone was up even later than me, and that was Elf. And um, last night, he decided to make his own scooter. I think he wanted to join my children in scooting to school. And he even decorated it. Um, and I'll put a picture up so you can see. There he is, um, squeezed between my son and daughter's scooters. As you can see, he's decorated his scooter. I think tinsel would have been a bit too thick for his scooter, so he's used sort of seasonal coloured pipe cleaners instead. And I've actually got him here, um, so you can see him in the flesh. Here he is. He sort of taped himself on so he doesn't fall off because I guess he's new to scooting. So yeah, I thought that was yeah quite jolly what he did and um, my children thought it was funny too. He didn't actually come to school with us, he stayed inside, which is probably a good plan because it's quite cold out there today. So today um, I am wearing a skirt and um, skirt and top combination. They're both um, handmade. My top is this pattern here. It is the paper cut. Well, it used to be called the Kyoto sweater and tee. I've got the old version, but it's now been rebranded to the Solar sweater and tee. But it's a really nice um, pattern for sort of fairly boxy shaped jersey top. You can either make it as a sweater or as a t-shirt. And the thing I like about it is this little ruffle on the sleeve. It's got a slightly dropped shoulder with this ruffle sleeve. And I've made a few versions of both the t-shirt and the sweater, but this version here is a sort of hybrid of them because it's a long sleeve t-shirt. So I've omitted the cuffs and I haven't got a bottom band. I've just got it tucked into my um, skirt and I made it a bit more um, sort of slim fitted I guess. Um, it's designed to be a fairly boxy fit but for this one I kept tuck the side seams in so it fits me a bit more closely and I also narrowed the um, arm seams too and I also made the ruffle a little bit smaller just because I thought I was sort of sizing down the whole thing so I did that. I think I may have taken about a centimetre or so off the ruffle too. 
and I made it in this um, cotton jersey fabric that I got from Lamazi Fabrics. It's a really nice quality cotton jersey. It's actually quite cosy and I guess the colours are quite Christmassy too. And in terms of size range, I've got the old pattern which goes from a, um, I think it's an extra small to an extra large, but the size range has now changed on paper cut patterns. And so this pattern now goes from a size one to a size eight. And the largest size is for bust, 46 and a half inches, waist, 38.6 inches and hips 48.8 inches it's a really nice comfy one to wear and i have teamed it with my one of my favorite skirts the megan nielsen brumby skirt and i'll stand up so you can see it it's a really nice skirt pattern by megan nielsen it says it's a gathered skirt pattern with a fitted contoured waistband it's got these really big scoop pockets and it's got different versions. You can either make sort of above the knee length version like this in a more sort of sturdy fabric, which is the version I've gone for. Or there's a slightly longer one that has a similar shape, but it's more gathered. So I guess it would work well in summer for a more swishy fabric like viscose. And then there's just a very simple plain gathered skirt without the pockets. And one feature I really like about it is it got, it's got an exposed zipper at the back. I'll turn around and show you the exposed zipper. And I made my version in this really um, structured rigid denim that I got a long time ago from an online shop that's now closed down, unfortunately. And I had fun with the top stitching of it. I've done sort of full jeans top stitching, as you can see. Um, and actually it's so old, I made it before I had my overlocker, so all the seams are zigzagged. So it looks a bit scruffy on the inside, but I'm determined to wear this one until it falls apart because I really love it. <laughs> I'll put a picture up so you can see me wearing it. And in terms of sizing, again, as with other Megan Nielsen patterns, it comes in both her size ranges. There is a um, size range from size 0 to 20, and there's also the curve range from 14 to 30. And I think I went with my, I can't remember, I think I went with my measurements on this one because it's quite fitted at the waist. So I think I went with a size 4, which is waist 26, hips 36, which is me. And it is nice and fitted. And it does hug my waist. So that's what I'm wearing today. So my plans this morning today, I'm at home this morning, and the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bake a banana bread loaf because we've had some bananas that have been going a little bit past their best in the fruit bowl and I've been meaning to do something about them and I've got a bit of time this morning so I'm finally going to use them and bake some banana bread. So I'll hopefully show you my banana bread in a little bit once I've cooked that. And then I'm also going to hopefully start sewing my Jera sweatshirt in the Atelier Brunette fabric. I've got it all cut out and ready so I'm looking forward to sewing it. I'm not sure how far I'll get once I've sort of baked the banana bread and everything but hopefully I'll make some good progress on that one. And then this afternoon, I'm actually going out to a rock climbing centre um, locally. My son really loves to rock climb and he goes every now and then. It is not a weekly basis, but he goes fairly regularly to do lessons there. But what you can do is you can go and book yourself on a rock climbing course as a parent so that you can take him and supervise him so he doesn't need to go with an instructor. And so he can go on the walls himself. It's just a, I think it might be an hour long course. It's just for the bouldering walls. So it's not for the halls where you're strapped in on a harness. It's just for the sort of free climbing walls that are a bit lower. But he really enjoys climbing. So it'll be really nice for me to do that course and be able to take him whenever he wants to go. It'll provide a bit more flexibility. And my husband has done the course already. So both of us can yeah, hopefully take him rock climbing when he wants to go. My daughter isn't really keen on it yet. <laughs> we don't know, maybe at some point she will be, but we'll see. So what I'll do now is I'm going to pop off and um, start cooking the banana bread and I'll hopefully show you a little bit of that. I make a wholemeal banana bread so it's hopefully quite nutritious and the children enjoy it. And um, then after that um, I'll pop back on when I've made some progress on my jarra and show you how I'm getting on. So I'll see you a little bit later. Bye! <laughs> So it's coming up to lunchtime now. I baked the banana bread, and which you'll have seen, and I had a slice with um, a cup of tea, and it was nice, so I'm pleased how it turned out. And now I've had a bit of sewing time, and I've been at my machine and started sewing together my Jarrah sweatshirt. And I've made good progress, I think. I've got the neckband in, as you can see, and I decided to zigzag around the edge. And um, rather than twin needle, I just fancied the zigzag finish on this one. And I've got the sleeves in and sewn up, so I've got it all together here. But I just need to put on the bottom band and the cuffs. Um, but I'm not sure if I'm going to do that right now because firstly, I need to go and get some lunch so I can get out to the climbing course. And secondly, I'm not sure if I want to crop a bit of the length and I need to check the sleeve length too because when I tried it on, it felt like the sleeves were going to come up quite long. So I think what I'm going to do is um, set it aside for now and then probably tomorrow 
I will try it on with a pair of jeans and have a little bit of an arm and ar about, you know, whether I want to um, chop any of the length off of this uh, main piece of fabric before I add on the cuffs and the uh, bottom band. But I've got them all sort of sewn up, ready to go, her little cuffs ready to attach. So, and it's shaping up really nicely. I really am pleased I chose the Jarrah sweatshirt because I think something really simple shows off this print really well. So I'm going to go make my lunch now and hopefully I'll bring you along and show you the climbing centre I'm going to after lunch. And um, I also need to change into something a bit more practical for climbing actually. So um, I'll show you what I'm wearing um, for the climbing centre in a bit too. So I'll see you in a bit, bye. Hello, I'm now in the car at the rock climbing centre. I'm about to go in for my session, so I'm looking forward to giving it a go. And I was, as you can see, I've changed into something more suitable for a rock climbing session. I am now wearing this sweatshirt, which is a Mega Nielsen Jarrah sweatshirt. I mentioned it's one of my favourite patterns, I've got a few. And this version is a really cosy one. I've made it in this fleece back sweatshirting fabric, so it's got a really fleecy inside. And it's burnt orange colour with these kind of white, um, sorry, black spots on it. And it's just a standard version with the um, crew neck and the standard cuffs and the standard bottom band. And it's quite nice and cosy because the center is often very cold. <laughs> so I wanted to stay warm. And I got this fabric from Fabric Godmother, but I've seen it being sold by a fair few different online shops. And I think it's available in a few different colorways too. I've seen it in a white with black spots and a pale pink, and I think a teal color too. So some really nice colors. Um, it's just really lovely and it's really soft, sort of almost velvety to touch. It's a really nice fleece back sweatshirt. And then I've also got on a pair of Hudson pants, one of my favourite patterns by True Bias. It's a sort of jogging bottom pattern that's fairly fitted. I really like um, the shape of it and it's really comfy to wear. And the pair I've got on at the moment is in a blue French cherry fabric, sort of navy blue French cherry, which I got from Minerva. And um, they're quite lightweight and quite bendy, sort of stretchy fabric. So I think that'll be good for rock climbing. So I'm going to head in in a moment and I'm going to try and get a little video of me rock climbing. I said to my son I'd get a little video so he could see, so I thought if I do get one I'll share it with you guys too. So I'll head in now and I'll see you in a little bit. Oh no, I forgot to say, I did take a picture of this outfit as I was going out of the house, so I'll show you the full outfit. But yeah, I'll head in now and I'll see you a little bit later. Bye! <laughs> I am back from climbing now. It's about 2.30 in the afternoon and I really enjoyed the climbing actually. It was a lot of fun and I'm really looking forward to going back and trying it together with my son. I think, yeah, it'll be lots of fun. Um, I think I might ache a little bit tomorrow though, we shall see. Um, I've got my cup of tea now. I'm having a quick cup of tea because I haven't got too long before I need to leave the house to go and get my children from school. So I'm going to quickly have this cup of tea and then I'm going to do a bit of tidying. I've got my sewing machine still out, so I need to clear that up because we're going to use this table later um, as our family dining table. And then I'm planning to head out to school and then after school we are going for a play date at a friend's house. So um, my friend has children the same age as my two and they all get on really well, so it's nice. Um, so they're going to have tea there, so we'll probably be back here a little bit late. So I think what I'll probably do is finish this day's Vlogmas here so I have time to upload it and get it online for later. So I think I'll say goodbye now and I will see you tomorrow for day nine of Vlogmas. I'm going to do tomorrow just one single day rather than a couple of days combined. So I'll see you tomorrow. So thanks so much for watching this video. I hope you've enjoyed seeing my day seven and eight of Vlogmas. I'm really enjoying um, filming these vlogs and I really appreciate all of your lovely comments. Um, either um, giving me opinions on my Hovia jacket length. I really appreciate all your opinions and also just generally saying you're enjoying the vlogs and hearing what else you're getting up to. I really enjoy sharing it. So yeah, it's really lovely to know you're enjoying watching too. So thank you very much and I will see you again tomorrow. Bye.